Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 15th to the 23rd of February 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Libra and thank you to everybody for the well wishes. I did injure my back a couple of weeks ago and it is slowly on the mend though I think it's going to take time and I just have to be patient, which is probably not one of my strongest points. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes so let's pull your overarching energy for libra please angel spirits guides what do we have for libra 15th to the 21st of february 2021 thank you oh love that <laughs> we've got love and um, self love next level love new love absolutely beautiful let's pull some more cards it just feels happiness you know it just feels that kind of fulfillment satisfaction finding that place where you just feel content you know what do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Libra. Okay, so the message is focus. You might be being told to focus on love, focus on what makes you happy. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Libra. The first card, as you all know by now, is the issue or challenge that you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guide, message for our lovely Librans. 15th to the 21st of February, 2021. Thank you. What do we have for Libra, please? Thank you. Okay, there's a few cards there, Libra, um, but let's go with it. We've got the Fool, Three of Pentacles, and I've got the Hanging Man. Two of Pentacles is Advice from Spirit, and we have the Page of Swords. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message. Angel Spirits Guides for Libra, 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. Okay, one card's turned over. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is clarified with the Devil. And the Page of Swords is clarified with the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck, I have the Star. Cardo Aquarius, very nice energy. Okay. So the message is love. Now, for some of you, this could be to do with love situations. I kind of feel also you're being told to focus now. Uh, the focus now for you needs to be on love, what makes you happy. That could be self-love, new love, um, progressing love, relationships, that kind of energy. But it feels for some of you that might well be your focus. It's interesting because I have pentacles energy in this reading and pentacle, I mean, it might well be to do with, you know, the, the financial, the commercial aspect is what will bring you security, fulfillment, you know, that kind of energy as well. But for some of you, we have a new beginning waiting for you. The challenge is you want some kind of new door opening, new start, new chapter, turning the page and you're ready. You feel ready. But for some of you, there is kind of an energy of things haven't quite played out, you're waiting. 
And the Three of Pentacles, I mean, that could be to do with, I mean, for some of you, it might be, be you might be looking to move home, plant foundations, you know, for your home. You might be looking to, um, something to do with career, you know, manifest some kind of like new career path, you know, that kind of energy. But again, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's just, oh, I'm waiting. I'm putting this effort energy, but there are obstacles, there are tests, there are challenges that I'm dealing with. And I just don't seem to be able to get to the point where I want to do as quickly as I want to, because for whatever reason, things aren't moving as quickly as you want them to. There's a level of waiting, but it's coming. It's definitely coming, Libra. I'm definitely feeling that energy of you will get that powerful, optimistic, wonderful new beginning. I mean, you know, the Three of Pentacles can be in terms of, it can be a card of just wanting to prioritize, get your ducks in a row, get things in alignment. I mean, that could be to do with new jobs. That could be to do with, um, doing moving home doing up a home uh could be turning the page in terms of as wanting to progress in terms of life and everything but it feels whatever this situation is you are just waiting for something to play out here divine timing orchestration you know that kind of energy it comes when you've been dealing with some kind of really difficult I want to say toxic situation. For some of you, that will resonate quite strongly because this devil is really jumping out at me. I can almost see those flames moving. It's quite strange. You know, those the, the devil energy can be a card of real instability. Um, it's a card of Capricorn. It can represent toxic relationships, unhealthy relationships, codependency, um, negative attachments as well um addiction you know that kind of energy but it, it is a card of, of dealing with something that has caused real instability negativity shadow shadow in tarot is all about you know the negative a negative cloud looming over your life you know that kind of energy or a particular area of your life and it feels that that's what you've been grappling to deal with you know because the two of pentacles is somebody who is just grappling to deal with everything to bring their life back to balance, to find progress, you know, and this two of pentacles wants to get to that three of pentacles, the beginnings of manifesting a new path, a new career, the beginnings of success in terms of money, career, finance, moving home, or, you know, that kind of energy. But it feels that that's what you're dealing with. And Spirit is saying here, yes, you have been dealing with this real kind of cloud, I want to say. This, this cloud that's loomed over your life for a period of time. But even though this person is juggling and, you know, they're in the water, they're, you know, it's challenging. It's well within your capability to deal with. And you're being told, know that. And if you focus, prioritise and just keep on doing what you're doing. And that is kind of the message of the Seven of Pentacles as well, you know, which is a kind of, you know, good things come to those that are patient. You know, you will overcome this. So it's a definite energy of you have everything that you need, the resources, the capability to deal with this situation and adapt, adapt and move on from this devil. There is just some kind of further priority or work that you're dealing with right now it feels but slowly but surely you will adapt and and move forward because again i'm kind of seeing this page of swords with the high priestess i mean the page of swords can sometimes be messages to do with truth you know so clear messages communication coming your way waiting for some news um, that will align you to the path that you want to be on, that you feel drawn to be on, that, you know, will bring you happiness, joy, contentment, fulfillment, a new period of self-love, you know, that kind of energy, um, new love even for some of you. But it feels in this situation, that page of swords, pages represent the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, there's definitely this energy of you're ready. 
you're ready for new ideas, new scenery, new conversations, and to cut free, cut cords with what this devil represented once and for all, but you're still dealing with and adapting. Um, but nevertheless, there is definitely this energy of you are aligning to your soul path, your soul light. Um, you are being guided intuitively on how you need to take action in your external environment. And for some of you, there is a message here that, yeah, things you are grappling with something, but there's definitely this energy that the path that you're on, you're on the right path. You are aligning to exactly where you need to be. You are cutting cords with that which you don't need anymore. And there is definitely this energy of good things come to those that are patient, that those that are still being a little bit tested, but it is coming. That powerful, big new beginning is coming your way. And, you know, the star is a card of hope, optimism, renewal, a renewal of sense of self, of you standing in your truth. You know, um, going in the right direction. And if you continue to do what you're doing here with this Two of Pentacles, the practical resources, the focus, the things that you need to take care of, you will bring that new period of happiness. This is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card as well. So it is a card of you will get the blessings that you deserve going forward. So it feels a lovely message here, Libra, that... If you're second guessing yourself, will this ever happen? Should I take stock of what I'm doing? Should I go in a different direction? The message is no. The message is the direction that you're going in, what your focus is on right now, the clarity that you have, the ideas that you have are absolutely right. They're blessed. They're guided. But there is something to do with, you are grappling with something here, but this is somebody who understands how to, by focus, by prioritization, by using their own innate skill set, they can actually adapt and bring change to their life. You know, it feels a little bit overwhelming in this situation, but nevertheless, Spirit is saying this is well within your capability to deal with. So it's a lovely, lovely energy, and you will get the blessings, the wish fulfillment, you know. Um, the sense of renewal. So there's a message of don't lose sight of those dreams. Dreams energy here. Don't lose sight of those dreams. Focus on those dreams. Um, because when you're faced with the devil, you can lose sight of that. The illusion takes over of the negativity and how it owns you. So absolutely an energy of, of stay focused on those dreams because that's what's going to bring you the happiness, the fulfillment, the contentment. It feels very beautiful, Libra, I have to say. But you are on the right path. If you're second guessing yourself, the message is keep going on what you're committed to because that is the right direction for you. Okay. And it will all come good. It will all come good. Yeah. We have abundance. Prepare your... Sorry, the cards just fell off the table. <laughs> the cards just fell off the table. Never mind. Um, we have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In Fairyland and Humanland, there's enough abundance for everyone. And this was the only card that stayed on the table, so I'm going to read this out as well. <laughs> we have wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. You already have the answers, the knowledge, the experience to bring expansion, growth, good fortune, you know, um, abundance into your life. This is Jupiterian energy in Capricorn. So it feels, it feels very beautiful. You know, you have the resources to bring that to your to your door. It is stay on the path. Keep on going. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Libra, and I will see you next time. Thank you.